on for Mainers to make sure they are ready for the blizzard. Most stores were stocking up with extra supplies. WMTW News 8's Courtney Sturgeon joins us now live in Bath as folks prepare to hunker down. Courtney. Steve, what it comes down to for people this weekend is the cost of snow removal. It's costing store owners, it's costing customers, and it's the one thing that we talked to people about tonight that they said they're just not loving about this February 14th. It's a heavy load to carry for a young boy, but Monica Bedard is teaching her grandson what to do before and during a blizzard. I just move the snow and put ice melt on my driveway. Snow removal is costing customers like Sabrina Doak hundreds of dollars. She's here to find a fix to her broken roof rake that may not make it through another blizzard. With plowing and um, just buying the salt and the roof rakes and the shovels that break or whatever, you know, it is winter, a very crazy winter, but it's here in full force. So I'm just trying to keep up with it. And so are big box stores. The store manager at this Lowe's in Brunswick says shipments of shovels, salt, and generators from across the country are arriving in Maine early next week. We have most items in stock and we can make it through the storm event itself. From Brunswick to Bath, store owners are welcoming customers preparing for this Valentine's Day blizzard. One thing they're not looking forward to, spending more money on clearing their parking lots of snow. All that snow that comes down, we have to get it hauled out and raked off the roof, and so it's kind of hard to guess whether you're making any money or not. It's quiet now, but the store's owner says lines were out the door today with shoppers stocking up on everything from coffee to oatmeal. There was a run on steaks, too, which Brackett says is a favorite of customers preparing a Valentine's Day feast. A holiday that would normally mean big business as long as it doesn't coincide with a blizzard. What comes in the door that goes through those registers gets hauled away in those dump trucks with the snow because of the snow removal. Right now in Sacagawea County, it's hovering around three degrees. Behind me, you can see the Bath Iron Works crane. That may not be the case this time tomorrow night, as yet another blizzard settles in for the weekend. Live in Bath, I'm Courtney Sturgeon, WMTW News 8.